whenever you think of iconic VGC World Championship teams, your mind may go straight to the default answer of Seijin Park's Pachirisu or Wolfglick's Endeavor Raichu. But one of the first picks in my mind is Ryota Atsubo's Nature Power Whimsicott. In 2017, the VGC format only allowed for Pokemon from the Alola decks, as well as Z-moves. While a large number of cool combinations involving niche Z-move techs were discovered, no one really expected these sort of discoveries to make any huge waves at major tournaments. However, there was one that was quite interesting. Whimsicott is a grass fairy type Pokemon with access to the ability Prankster. This ability makes it so that all non-damaging moves have plus one priority. Nature Power is a move that it had access to that would turn into another move depending on the terrain of the battle. In Gen 7, all of these moves that Nature Power could call were damaging. Despite that, Nature Power maintained a Prankster boost, making it a priority move. When used in combination with an Ormalium Z, this became a priority Z move that would deal massive damage. Not only that, but Whimsicott maintained a same type attack bonus on two out of the four moves that it would call due to its grass and fairy typing. Ryota Atsubo used a modest nature power Tailwind, Charm, and Protect Whimsicott on his team to win the 2017 World Championship. His team also had a Tapu Koko and Tapu Fini to set Electric or Misty terrain respectively. Using these terrains in tandem with Whimsicott allowed it to deal with major threats like Garchomp or Celesteela by nuking them with a Z-move. It could deal major priority damage at any point in the match despite it technically not having any damaging moves. The 2017 World Championship Finals is a super underrated match in VGC history that I recommend you all take a look at. If you enjoyed or learned anything new, be sure to subscribe to my channel and check me out on Twitch to watch me battle live.